Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. And thanks for spending some time with me today. Today, I'm out in Woodburn, Oregon, and we're visiting Factory Expo Home Centers. And what we're gonna take a tour of is an awesome RV park model with a loft. So let's get going, because I'm gonna tell you all about it. So as we start from the back today, real quick, I wanted to show you one, all the windows, but right there, that little cutout is your water access. So that is where that is. But like I said, this side has a good amount of windows and I like that. Now coming off to the front over here, you'll notice this one comes with a covered porch and the porch size is just about four feet long by 11 foot across. So what this home is, is it, it comes from the Cascadia value line and it's known as the Sherman or the 12351L built by Fleetwood Homes. This is a one bed, one bath RV park model sitting at 392 square feet. The size of this home is 34 feet, four inches by 11 feet, two inches. And the base price for this is just about $77,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, now let's walk through the Sherman, shall we, everyone? Walking into this living room, just to let you know, the living room size today is 9 feet 1 inches by 10 feet 6 inches. Of course, it's an open concept in a home like this. And hey, before we go any further, do me a favor, help out the channel by leaving us a like. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, you'll get to check them out. But I mean, look at this living room, that's nice. The amount of windows here already is rather nice in my opinion, and I love the vaulted ceiling. It just gives you a, you know, a, a bigger illusion of space, which is nice. Now coming into the kitchen here, we see this nice wood grain, real wood cabinetry, um, and we have a stainless steel package in this home, which is nice. You see here we have the, um, the microwave range hood, I guess you could say, and this one is set up for gas. Now depending on your needs and what you want, you can always change that in the ordering process. And right here you see we have a double sink, a nice standard sink, which will do exactly what you'll be needing. Um, and the uh, cupboards here, good quality construction. Like I said, real wood on the inside. The uh, shelves are not adjustable on that side, um, but they are on this side. So that's an adjustable shelf. And in my opinion, for the size of this home, pretty decent amount of storage so far for you know your kitchen aids. Um, down here you have a drawer bank, four drawers, a little on the smaller size, but I think it'll do the trick. So that's pretty nice. I, I like the, um, the style they chose for the countertop. It just kind of goes along with the color scheme, kind of gives you that little bit of a brown break in between that light wood, which is cool. Now right over here, I do like this big obey window here, um, letting that light in by what you would call a dining room. I mean, it's small, but it is a dining room, you know, especially for a home like this. And now let's go check out the loft storage. So the loft storage is a pretty good amount of space up here. It has a clearance of, I think, mm, about three feet here. Um, and like I said, it's looking pretty nice. You have a good, you know, view down here. And, you know, if you want to know more about this home and the features, the options and what you can do to it, there's a link in the description below click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you could take a 3D tour, see some photos, see some more video, but most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. So click on that and learn all about it. And up here, it had a great amount of windows. I mean, that is nice. It's airy. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comments below. And as we head down, the, the stairs most of the time in RV park models are pretty steep. This one was kind of steep, but it wasn't so bad. You know, I didn't feel like I was going to trip over myself. So that was a good thing. Um, and I like the placement of the stairs. You know, it's not hidden. It's right there, just straight up. And now walking into the bath here, you have a standard. I think this is about a 36 inch um, standard wraparound shower. Right, not too bad, a low lip makes it easy to get in and out. We have an elongated water saving uh, toilet there. And uh, right over here, nice little mirror and a medicine cabinet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And the, uh, you chose the same design of the countertop in here than they did you know, from the kitchen, so that's pretty cool. Kind of goes together. 
And what I like about this one is they utilize even some extra space on, under here. You know, you have some storage. Here's some extra storage. If you have a little puppy, I've actually seen um, people use this space for like, uh, you know, like doggy rooms and things like that. But you could do a lot with that. So that's pretty cool. And even with this one, you know, um, you're always limited in space with an RV park model, but this one has plenty of room for your uh, for your your uh, stand up washer and dryer combo there, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, this one's set up for gas, but you could always set it up for for electric. And now that we're in the bedroom here, there is your electrical panel. I do like the the fact that they have some balances around the um, the windows. You know, a nice little touch there. The size of the primary here is um, seven foot one inch by eight feet six inches and um, that's a decent amount of space I mean you could definitely put a queen size bed in here maybe not so much a king but you know a, a queen might work we have plenty of room in the closet here for the uh, amount of space that we have that is a wire shelf of course and then right over here we have a little bit more built-in storage um, adjustable shelves so that that's that's helpful there. Another little uh, little RV park models. I wouldn't mind having one, you know. Um, ADU, maybe somewhere in the backwoods. It's really nice. But hey, everybody, you know, thank you for joining me today. I truly appreciate all the support. And um, hey, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope to see you on the next home tour, wherever that's going to be. But in the meantime, remember to always live smarter, choose manufactured, Travel easy and have wonderful days, everyone.